Sorry if I sound funny, I'm getting over a cold, so my sinuses are taking the brunt of it, but right now I want to talk about something else. And uh, I want to talk about starting with this library. I entered college, and there was this library that was clearly from like the 80s, <laughs> like uh, the 70s, I guess very late 70s or early 80s. It was a very specific uh, style of building and the way it looked and uh, the stairs, the walls, the carpet, everything about the outside of it especially, uh, everything about this building uh, just screamed, uh, it was this, this dated uh, library building, and it could, you could tell it was single purpose built, it was a very specific built uh, building uh, in a specific part of campus, so there was you know building requirements and a parking garage and, and everything, and they uh, eventually had no use for it. Uh, they built another uh, library, a new, all fancy, modern, glass, uh, exterior type uh, library. And so they had this dormant, empty, ugly, concrete building uh, sitting in the center of campus uh, for the rest of my uh, experience, um, the remainder of my stay at the, at the university. And at the end of my senior year, about this time a year ago, uh, I was thinking um, about uh, this time specifically because I was on my phone and I saw a person who was a year younger than me in the class uh, posting about, you know, going back after break and being like, oh, wow, graduation is right around the corner. My, you know, what does that even mean in the context of my real life, in the context of my art practice? Because I, uh, I went to art school. And so... Um, it's just artists thinking about how do you exist out of this space, uh, how do you exist outside of um, the academic art world, which is a very, uh, it's a very closed-ended vacuum that exists entirely on its own, and it can be this hard thing to exist uh, outside of because it can, it's really its own thing, and so it doesn't really lend itself well to any other aspect of the real world. And so they're talking about graduation, and I was thinking about where I was at this point in time. And I remember uh, one of the ways that I dealt with this frustration was uh, me and a classmate were walking by uh, this door after being in our studios late at night. And the door uh, to this library, a back door, um, was just propped open like it not not even propped open but like the latch uh, that closed the door uh was just leaning against uh the locking mechanism and so uh, you could just open up the door and get inside and while well, we went inside this uh library uh and it was this uh, like half abandoned half taken apart uh just this wasteland in the middle of nowhere that we had to that was semi lit up so you, like you had to like hide inside it was this really uh surreal experience to be uh in this abandoned area in the middle of what you know a, co a college campus is a bit of a mini metropolis a self-contained metropolis and so uh, it was really weird to just be in this uh no man's uh building that no one else you could be sure that nobody else was in and that we you know we weren't even supposed to be in and so it was a paradise for uh photography if you're into photography of the ruins or just of abandoned things uh like i am it was the perfect thing for that and so we came back with our cameras and we came back uh later uh the the next uh you know the next day and over i think we went back oh, me and my classmate went back uh i think two times uh me and him went twice and i on my own went three times so i went a total of five times and i was just fascinated by uh this place uh, i'll throw uh, a couple of photos up throughout the the time of this video uh you probably actually already seen them <coughs> at this point in time and so it, it was just the surreal experience being and it really i think it felt as um it really explained the situation that I felt I was in with uh, being in college and being in this oasis of nothingness that's happening around, uh, you know, everything else, uh, everything else around it being, you know, the real world, the rest of the campus representing the real world in which me and my classmates were supposed to be uh, becoming part of. And, you know, it, meanwhile, we're hiding in this building that is, you know, uh, that it was, you know, the college experience that it is being in the art world, that is the university art experience. And so it was this real, uh, metaphorical thing of being like, well, this is a shit building objectively, right? It's ha it's not even inhabitable. Like half the ceilings are ripped down. It's half abandoned, half under construction. 
it, it's it's just a it's a nothingness. It's a limbo uh, that is somehow uh, unattractive uh, to the eye, to the masses. But when you explore it, when you become part of it, it becomes. Uh, somehow beautiful and you I had this connection with it because it was an active uh, camp it was an active library rather when I started uh, school here so or there uh, and so it was it is interesting to to know be like oh I studied here I did a, a book report here I printed out you know stuff for class over there I came up here to to hide, I, you know, and especially when you're in the library as your freshman year, you're in there, you're in the library a lot, and you're not necessarily studying a lot, which means, you know, you're doing things, you're making memories, so to say, you're, you're having fun with the people around you, you're, you know, you're, you're, those are moments that you would never necessarily do again, it's the kind of fun that you would never have again, but it was uh, fun, nonetheless, uh, the, the experience of it, and so I wanted to make this thing a, a big project, and so did my classmate, uh, actually, uh, we went, we talked to uh, another teacher about it, because we had trespassed to, 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 to get there, we had trespassed to, to make the work, and so we were wondering, legally speaking, what can we do with the work that we've made? Um, can we show it? Is it something that we are allowed to attach our names to? Uh, and so we actually met with, we had to meet with the professor outside of class because he can't exactly talk about, you know, illegal things regarding the school at class. And so we we went, we met with him, and then. Later, my uh, classmate kind of lost interest. The teacher kind of persuaded him a little bit to kind of stay away uh, successfully. Uh, not me. When someone, especially, it was a weird thing that the teacher was doing it specifically because the, we, me and this teacher had talked about it specifically. The when someone tells you not to do something, that you just want to do it more and more and more. And so uh, it was interesting that he told us uh, not to do it because for me that was almost a sign of, of go ahead, do it, this is a good idea in, in a tongue-in-cheek kind of manner. But it, it per dissuaded my friend uh, of the potential of not being able to graduate um, you know, right at the end of, uh, of our senior year just so that we can go into an abandoned building that they've clearly uh, don't want people in. And not only do they have, you know, they lock it, they shut it down, they make sure people can't get in, but there have been uh, stories in the past of years of uh, past people, uh, even classmates in the same program that I was in. Uh, trying to break into the building and hang out in the building and you know do whatever they ended up you know stealing uh and you know breaking a little bit of shit and we, which is the opposite of what we wanted to do uh and so that's how they had gotten caught but so it was this interesting experience of like my friend going through all of this trouble uh to, to try to like make something out of this like beautiful allegory but also this beautiful ugly thing that we you know we there we found that we could do so much with it we we enjoyed the experience of doing it a lot we found we had to make work about it but uh, after talking to our professor he really was never interested in going back with me i would i watched the building for the rest of the semester so from you know this time january 6th to may you know, the next four months, I just had my every day, uh, just my eyes peeled on the building. I kept a journal and with notes about what was happening in the building, about what, what kind of work was happening and when the door was open. And every time the door was open, I would see if he would want to go and he was never interested in going. And so it was just kind of thinking about what, what is important right now about this, about this stage in college. And I think it's doing the things that you don't think uh, you need to do right now that you might not be so important or might not be the big thing because those are the things that you're going to enjoy a lot. So that's what I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.